Can I call your little hand coming out of here? I saw that. <laughs> what are you doing? I see you. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Hi guys. And Jules' foot. That she's kicking mommy with. Happy Friday. Happy Friday in Jersey. So as you can see, we're on the floor. We are playing. Feet on the floor with Jules is easy for me. Ow! And not until she kicks me in the face like that. Holy moly. Now I'll just take her. Playing with your toys. Yeah. No smiles? There you go. I actually spoke to the surgeon today. Found out they did look at my gallbladder. He wants me to come in on Monday for a full gallbladder workup. He thinks it's unrelated to my other issues, which I would agree with because I was never getting pain like here and then it, it's literally wrapping around into the back. So he said it's definitely gallbladder symptoms. Doesn't mean anything yet, but they were, they squeezed me in for Monday at 11. So of course I will update you guys after that. He said if I get a flare up like I had on Tuesday where I'm extremely nauseous and back pain and everything, go right to the ER. So yeah, that is that. Definitely happy it's the weekend so we can spend it with daddy, right? She missed her daddy yesterday. She only got to see him for like two hours and that's why she went to bed so late. Where she was a little cuckoo. But we got Dixie next to me. Look at that big doggy. Look at her big. As you see, I had the vacuum out. I was vacuuming a little bit. So, yeah. Life on a Friday in Jersey. Not feeling great. Just check out. Jules seriously like knows the sound. There we go. Okay, so guys, seriously, check out. I literally like turned the camera on and she just started staring at me. She knows the camera sound. Jules, where's daddy? Where is he? Why isn't he home? Home soon? Yeah. Okay, so, um, yeah, so we got, we got, I can't talk. We got hit with a really bad rainstorm. Like it downpoured here before. But that was nothing compared to what happened in Flanders, the town Hubby works in. Um, I'll let him go into all of that. But yeah, it is 740 and he's still not home. So um, there was major stuff that happened at his company. So hopefully soon, he normally is home at like 5.20. So it's just, you can see two hours and 20 minutes and still not home. But Miss Jules slept from like about 4.40 to like 7.15. I know, she has not taken that long of a nap in a long time. And this is actually really funny. Her onesie that she had on was wet. So she like leaked through. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just change it real quick on my lap. So I start undoing like the diaper and I notice it was a massive amount of poop. So of course I sealed her back up and then I actually changed her better. But yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. So um, we'll be back on once hubby is home, which hopefully will be soon. Dixie and Jules miss their daddy. Hi. Hi. Come on, you do. Hi, good girl. Hi. Hi, two tools. Wave like this now. Hi. Hi, Dixie. I know. You're saying hi to everybody. Hi. Hey, guys. So, I am home. I actually got home a little bit ago. It was uh, late night at the office. Craziest thing ever. We had some really bad storms that rolled through the Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and New Jersey area. And uh, there was supposed to be some really bad thunderstorms, usual summer stuff around here, nothing crazy. So Jen texted me around like 3 o'clock and was like, yeah, it's really bad here, it's pouring out, satellite went out for TV, and then it passes. And it hits us about 40 minutes later, oh no, battery's dying. Oh, yeah, uh, let well, me go set the battery, I'll be right back. Alright, and we're back. So, 
So yeah, it starts. I'm gonna check on baby girl. It starts raining a little bit at the office. And in my room, there's, hi! There's a bunch of windows so I can see outside and everything. So it's drizzling, and then within seconds, it's hailing. Yeah, hailing outside. Hailing, and all of a sudden, I'm gonna throw a little clip in here. It's just, you couldn't see outside, it was raining that bad. The wind was whipping around and everything. Within four or five minutes, maybe, if that long, maybe two, three minutes, it stopped. Power went out, power was flickering, our server room went down, so I had to go in and help fix those issues. That's why I had to get home till about eight o'clock. Um, but we go outside and there are trees down everywhere. One car was crushed, another one had a tree fall into it, another one was damaged. Uh, a massive tree outside my office got rooted up and was leaning against a tree. If it would have fallen up the direction, it would have hit the building right where I sat. But I got a few pictures I'll show you in here that uh, some of the damage that it caused. But someone was saying they heard a tornado touchdown in Flanders, where I work. And I think it touched down literally in our parking lot. Because it seriously, like it peeled up around like the roof. There's like stuff that comes down and almost like, not a uh, shingles, but like flashing around the roof. Hi. Peeled up, like it was trying to rip the roof right off. It was crazy. It was absolutely insane. And there's just leaves and branches and trees everywhere. You want mama? So we had to wait till like five o'clock to bring the server room back up. Then we have all our customers, customer machines, everything else. It's nuts. And I come home with baby girl. She ate really good. She had some penny and grated cheese and a little butter. Um, and then she had four strawberries. Four. One for each tooth. Right? You did make a big mess though. We had to throw out the onesie. I'll actually show you because it's right here. Sorry, Aunt Missy. <laughs> on the crotch and then. On the booty. On the booty. Pure yeah. strawberry. What are you, a monkey? What are you, a monkey? We should have had her eat naked. We messed up. Huh. Huh. Ha. So yeah, it was crazy insane weather, and we actually missed. We got hit. If you look at the radar, you know, like the big radar thing, we got a little speck. That's come over us. There were way worse storms that were coming through and just missed us barely. Well, like, they were saying Persephone was going to get hit really bad. Flanders, there was nothing even about Flanders. No. I had the news on from four o'clock on. Yeah, it was seriously just a little piece of the storm hit us and just demolished things. But I'm home, we ate, Jules ate. We ate a five dollar Little Caesars pizza. Baby Swatch. It's not something I would want all the time whenever I have pizza, but it's like Pizza Hut or Domino's, Papa John's, all that kind of similar. So for five dollars, you couldn't beat it. I sure as heck was not cooking tonight. I didn't know what time Keith was gonna get home, so it worked. So, but now I have to edit. You and you didn't edit? What was I supposed to edit? At work. I went to to Babies R Us and Bestmore. Oh. We are upstairs now. I don't even know how much we vlogged tonight. It was just a slow, not slow, a boring, no, relaxing night. Sure, yeah. Relaxing night at home, just hung out. Like I said, I didn't get home from work till about 8 o'clock. Ate dinner, watched a little bit of the vlog from watching the UFC. Jules. <laughs> you need to get to bed. We actually, I think we gotta lower her crib soon. Yeah. Cause as you can see, her hand got there. And next thing you know, you're pulling yourself up and we can't have that. See, Especially where it dips right here. These are big. Well, these are what, the $10 she's from ShopRite? And that's probably why. But they're so pretty.
already know, hon, all our shoots are like this. And it's like, we don't have a true king. We have a true king. We're there on... But no, because you'd think if they had it on backwards that these two sides would be short. It's just the sheets. You know what it is also? Well, some sheets aren't deep enough. Some are too deep. My parents always get deep pockets. So yeah, tomorrow... Look at this. Hold on. I caught you. I saw that too. I caught you a little hand coming out of here. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I see you. You're like a little cat that sticks his hand out the door. <laughs> you trying to break free? Trying to untie that? What are you doing? So now I gotta adjust those and get that out of the way. But alright, are we taking Jules out to feed her? Try to feed the rest of her bottle? I tried in the crib, she wanted nothing to do with it. She just wants to play. Well, you see, I don't know if you saw that when I turned around, but her little head poking up over it. She's like really, really grabbing it. I think she's trying to break out. I think we have an escape. Oh, she's, she's untying it. I gotta fix those. What are you doing? All right, you're gonna go to mommy. Okay, let's see if I can do this. That's dangerous. That's gonna fall and break. Come here. Alright, I'm gonna fix the crib and then we're gonna say goodnight. Oh, we are so tired, right? So tired. We are fighting this. And daddy's over there playing with my bed and I can't go to sleep. And now when he puts me in there, I'm gonna be delirious. And my allergies got real bad. I don't know if it's lack of sleep or up too late or what, but ooh, my whole right side. But we want to thank you for watching. Hit subscribe on that video. In the video, hit uh, give us a thumbs up. Jules, can you do a thumbs up? Thumbs up? No? Okay, but like I said, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell your friends, right? Tell your friends about us. Um, and... Definitely just want to say share a smile. There's a lot of negativity going on in the world right now, especially in our country. And uh, your smile can really brighten somebody's day. I want to just say to my, our hearts are with everybody in Dallas. Absolutely horrible what happened last night. You can't just, there's no excuse, I'm sorry. And my heart is with the family in Minnesota that lost a loved one. And the family in New Orleans. Right, on New Orleans was the other one? I don't know. I think so. I might be wrong, though. But, again, share a smile. Ready, Jules? Good night, boo. I'd run a thousand miles if I could run with you. The same